Some big breaking news coming in. Congress President Malika Arjun Kharge's big acquisition against the Modi government. He has attacked the government and he has said, wherein I quote, Modi ji keeps saying char so par. Why does he say that? Because they want two-third majority to change the constitution. So this is the latest attack by Malika Arjun Kharge uh, against the Prime Minister and the government. Uh, Pallavi Ghosh joins us for more on this. Pallavi, is this the case of nerves? Because the opposition has always accused the government of rewriting, altering the constitution, when in fact they are the ones who have been facing one jolt after the other with their uh, senior ministers like Suresh Pachauri, MPs, ex-MPs, ex-MLAs who are jumping ship and joining the BJP. Well, I mean, the BJP certainly sounds very confident when it talks about 370 power or 400 power for NDA. And obviously in politics and when you're preparing for the Lok Sabha elections, the other side also needs to sound equally confident or at least counter it. So this is the new strategy which is now coming in from the Congress. And I think this is something which is going to be picked up by the other India Front allies as well to raise alarm bells among the people. Why is it that a government is constantly talking about Teen So Satar Par? Why do they want to have a brute budget? majority inside the parliament because there will be no counter to them, there will be no opposition to them and they can do whatever they feel like doing. And the party in any case has scant regard for constitution or parliamentary democratic principles and therefore in case you vote for the BJP en masse, then what will happen is that they will come to parliament armed with a number and then they will try and change the constitution completely. So when you put in this fear factor among the voters, it's a kind of a mind game which is being played by the Congress party. And as well as the rest of the India front to make the point that you know be cautious when you exercise your uh, vote and you know this along with uh, the EVM machine scare that they're putting the right. fact that election commission is compromised these are a multiple part of the political strategy of the Congress do you think that the opposition parties have taken cue after Anand Kumar Hegde's remarks urging voters to vote for the government get them to power in order to uh, you know in order to get that two-thirds majority to effect changes in the constitution? Well, absolutely. I mean, the Congress was the first one to criticize it. I mean, he comes in from Karnataka. Mr. Malikarjun Kharge himself is from Karnataka. But that apart, the Congress, if I, why does Mr. Kharge, even Rahul Gandhi took a pot shot at the government over the electoral bonds issue and at the Prime Minister saying your money is not safe, your money is compromised, everything is compromised, the investigative agencies are used. and. I, I, and when the BJP would want to counter this allegation coming in from the Congress, what the Congress is then going to say is that look at Anand Kumar Hegde, he said it, he spilled the beans. Mm. And therefore, this is exactly what the BJP has in mind. Absolutely. Do you foresee this being the big strategy of the opposition party now uh, to take on the Prime Minister whenever he says, uh, Abki bar char so par? I think so and on 17th is going to be the mega Mumbai rally uh, which is going to be the end of the Bharat Joro Nyaya Yatra. I wouldn't be too surprised. Of course the Congress party but the other opposition parties also come out with this kind of a slogan. So there are multiple slogans which are being worked upon. Essentially a vote for India Front is important to save the idea of India. That is how India Front acronym was decided upon and the front was also formed. So on one hand we are talking about the fact that the BJP means all your parliamentary rights, all your constitutional rights are going to be taken away. But if you vote for the India front, you are going to be safe, you are going to be free and democracy is going to be alive. You know, just to add to that question, Pallavi, I wanted to understand from you, do you think that they've coined the strategy in order to kind of save their, uh, uh, save the India alliance or save the India bloc from falling apart? It has been tottering uh, with uh, so many voices, dissenting voices uh, from the allied partners. You had TMC, which has gone out there and decided to uh, contest solo. So do you think perhaps this is now a new strategy that they have come up with to take on the Prime Minister's statement of Abki Par Char So Par? Well, I mean, the Congress in private say we've not completely given up on the TMC or the BSP as yet. We understand the political compulsions and though it comes as a huge setback, what they're hoping for is that should after the electoral results and numbers be in favour of the India front, 